Hey everybody, I'm John Bell. In this video, uh, my dad and I are flying from Lexington Bluegrass Airport to Sporties at uh, Claremont County. We've just been cleared for takeoff on runway 22 with a right turn to 270. It's a uh, cold, gusty winter's day. Uh, winds were about 190 at 15 to 20 knots. So we're pulling out of the runway and uh, turning the uh, control inputs uh, into the wind for regular crosswind takeoff. Uh, and the winds turned out not to be much of a factor on this day anyhow. Uh, looking at the RPM and oil pressure, should have about uh, 2200 RPMs at the beginning of the takeoff roll. And uh, waiting for uh, rotate speed, we'll rotate here at about uh, 60, 65, uh, climb out, pick up speed, and uh, climb out at about uh, 80 knots. Uh, and then lots of times after a couple hundred feet or so, uh, We'll uh, lower the nose a little bit just for better forward visibility. The uh, the Archer always climbs really good, but on a on a cold, dense day like this, it uh, it's really gonna gonna climb. And uh, I think if you look, you can see that it uh, it pegs the VSI. So uh, that's about it for takeoff. Uh, we'll uh, make our turn here in a second and uh, switch over to departure. Um, I think I've, uh, on here I've noted where we hit uh, 2,000 feet. And uh, while we're still over the field, uh, I don't even think we've turned on course yet. And uh, we uh, get up to about uh, 3,000 feet while we're still over the field. All right, so that was everything for takeoff, and uh, we're going to speed up the en route portion. Uh, we're just going to fast forward through it, and uh, I'll throw up the uh, the VFR sectional and some information about uh, Sporties, the uh, AFD, and uh, that kind of stuff for the en route portion. And then I'll talk to you again uh, when we land.
Okay, so now we're uh, on the downwind runway 22 at Claremont County uh, after a standard 45 degree entry. Uh, winds are about the same as they were back in Lexington. They were reported uh, south southwest around 15 to 20. And then uh, a beam the numbers will uh, set uh, about 1500 RPMs, start a 500 foot per minute descent. And then after the, uh, the base turn, we'll uh, put in the uh, second notch of flaps, which is uh, 25 degrees in the archer. But on, uh, on this landing, I chose not to add any additional flaps, and we're just going to land with, uh, with 10 degrees. All right, so now we're turning final, and then uh, after the turn to final, that's where I'd throw in full flaps, uh, which is 40 degrees on the archer. But uh, in this case, I still just kept 10 for the uh, for the whole thing. Um, and although it, it turned out that it, the wind wasn't much of a factor, it uh, it wouldn't have mattered. Um, So here we are on final, and uh, really just looking at the sight picture, uh, I'm going to hit a target of about uh, 65 knots on, on short power, uh, short final, and uh, just adjusting with, uh, with pitch and power. Uh, and I think you can see the windsock right there, it's not really doing a whole lot of anything. All right, then coming in, watching the sight picture, and start the flare, hold it off. And that's about it. I will say it was uh, it was interesting. This was the, the first time that I had uh, flown in someplace that had uh, patches of ice on the runway, and, and sections of the taxiway were just completely snow and ice covered. So it was uh, made that first turn, and... Uh, did a little bit of sliding and then really taxied uh, slow the, the rest of the way in. But uh, that was it. Thanks for watching this video and uh, I'll see everybody later.